Beach FM, locals talking to locals. And time to make very welcome with the Shoreline Film Review, Peter Edwards. Good morning, sir. Lovely to see you. Good morning, John. Nice to be back. Nice to see you. Excellent. Now, you've got, uh, uh, well, a terrible pun. Yes, he called me out. I called it an electric movie. This is the one about Edison and Tesla. Yes, is it? indeed. Yes. The Current War is the title. Yes. It's, and uh, let me say right from the outset, the film's got nothing whatsoever to do with warfare in the generally understood sense. It depicts the battle between Thomas Edison and George Westinghouse to bring electricity to the greater United States, and thus the current is, Mm. well, it's a verb rather than an adverb, and uh, the title is it actually means electricity. Film's directed by a guy called Alfonso Gomez Rejon. Again, one I've never heard of. Mm -hmm. (laughs) But it does star Benedict Cumberbatch as Edison and the guy Michael Shannon as Westinghouse. Now, before I get into the layout of the film itself, just a little bit of background. The film itself, and I I did a bit of research on this, (laughs) the film has been a, a long time coming to the screen. I mean, it was conceived in 2012, it was cast and shot eventually by 2016, and it premiered at the Toronto International Film Festival in 2017. Got but, and a very big but, the film was co-produced by Harvey Weinstein. Oh, my goodness gracious, man. Uh, right. And yes. following all the abuse allegations against Weinstein, the film was shelved and sold off. And it stayed on the shelf for a little while, but it was eventually bought back by the Lantern Entertainment um, and this is the actual successor to the Harvey Weinstein mm. Company. Mm. And the film was then released in October 2019. So from release in October to here we are in February, it's a relatively short period of time, but it's been a long, long, long time in the making. Yes, indeed. Is the name Weinstein uh, mentioned at any stage in the film? Uh, Do you see his name? No, 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 of course not. It's set in the 1880s, 1890s, so Weinstein wasn't born by then. Yes, no, I was just thinking about the credits. I mean, uh, Um, whether his name is still up there or or Lantern. His name is still there. Really? That's interesting. Oh, yes. But, um, of course... uh, not very many people actually stop and look at the No, they don't. They're off, aren't they? No, that's oh. indeed the truth. I have to but, pick out the coke. Well, I, I must say, I, I watched the first showing. It was just myself and one other solitary individual watching the film. So mm-hmm. it may not be the most popular of films to go and see, but I will try and give it a, 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 a good review. Now, the film opens in 1880. Edison, who is in... People will probably recall the inventor of the electric light bulb. Now, he's pushing for the introduction of direct current as the national preferred source of electricity. It's safe, but it's limited in range, and, and it, well, it's cheaper than gas, which is then the current form of, uh, of lighting in, in the United States. But it's expensive to set up, mainly because it requires multiple generating stations over a relatively short area it will not travel direct current. That's really the key to it all. And on the other side of the coin, we've got Westinghouse, who prefers alternating current, Mm -hmm. um, which is both better technologically because it can travel over further distances and is significantly cheaper than direct current. Um, So here we have this battle between AC, DC, between Edison and Westinghouse. And to try and prove each of their um, electricity's points, they they light up small US towns. So here we have a battle going on which one is better. You're bashing the table there, Peter, aren't you? (laughs) It's coming through very effectively, so you're getting (laughs) quite animated. I know. Sorry about that. No, no worries. But um, now we come to another name who's very well known in current versions, a brilliant immigrant inventor by the name of Nikola Tesla. Yes. Significant today, of course. Well, But he joined Edison's team, but he's soon disillusioned by Edison's unwillingness to consider alternative ideas. He's a bit of a, a know-all, is Edison. Mm-hmm. If I'm... I must be right, therefore everybody else is wrong. That is his attitude. Um, of course, you said before he invented the light bulb, yeah. he invented heaps of things, didn't he? Oh, yeah. And I, I guess he got used to being right 
Correct. And Absolutely. that's a dangerous place to be. Indeed it is. Yes. Indeed it is. And uh, he, he comes to grief eventually. But that's another... I'll come on to that. Um, anyway, Tesla, having been disillusioned by Edison's unwillingness to change, he, he, he strikes out on his own with the intention of designing and manufacturing a cheaper electricity generating source. And it just so happens that this source actually produces alternating current, which is totally against Edison's ideas. So here we have a publicity war starting off. Edison suggests that AC is dangerous. Alternating current is dangerous. And this would seem to be the case because a friend and a colleague of Westinghouse is killed in an an electrical accident. Mm. But at the same time, Edison tries to make, find ways of uh, making direct current financially competitive, and he uses funds generated from the sale of one of his inventions, the phonograph, the sort of the talking phonograph. Right. And that would be the cylinder, would it? That's the one. Right, That's okay. The one. Yes. Uh, and to damage Westinghouse, he secretly becomes involved with the inventors of the electric chair. It's an AC device, an alternating current device. Yes. And despite Edison having insisted that he would never become involved in the manufacture of weapons or any other machines of death, uh, Westinghouse finds out about Edison's involvement in this and he tells the press, so here we have the battle going Mm. backwards and forwards. And meanwhile, um, Nikola Tesla, who's having been unsuccessful in going in alone, he finally joins up with Westinghouse, mm-hmm. and together they build a successful alternating current motor. So the war is going on, but it eventually comes to us ahead between the two competing systems in 1892. And both Edison and Westinghouse put forward proposals to light the 1893 World's Columbian Exposition in Chicago. And Westinghouse is successful. Mm. And that leads the way to the alternating current system being um, set out as the main American source of, uh, of electricity. Um, well, at, anyway, at the exposition, Edison and, and Westinghouse meet briefly. Westinghouse asked Edison what it was like to achieve a great invention. And Edison recalls the feelings when his prototype light bulb first exceeded 10 hours of illumination and kept kept breaking. And we see that Edison, who is ever the inventor, has yet another trick up his sleeve, that of a device which would eventually lead to the formation of the motion picture industry. So here we come almost like a full circle back to the film itself. Now, I enjoyed the film, but I, I can't say I was entertained by it. Uh, the performances of Cumberbatch and, and Shannon were excellent, but I found it was hard work to concentrate jumping backwards and forwards uh-huh. as it did from one camp to the other. Um, it, it did, however, highlight the sometimes cutthroat world of big business, especially when we consider that the ultimate financial carrot of lighting up the whole of America's whole of America was at stake, and such is the world of big business. Now, electricity, of course, is something we we take for granted today, and nobody ever considers how this wonderful discovery came about and the multitude of uses it now has. And this film, to use a perfectly awful pun, will enlighten you. Oh, I I don't feel so bad now. Thank you very much. Oh, there we are, Peter Edwards. I must say, I've got a bit of an interest in this. Uh, Westinghouse was a man of means, wasn't he? A very rich man. Did, did, was that part of the process? I mean, no, he wasn't. He did not oh. depicted as, a, as oh, really? such. No, oh. both Edison and uh, Westinghouse are depicted as requiring, if you like, financial support oh, in order I to further their that. schemes. Um, Edison, of course, was. Well, both of them were inventors. Yes. Um, but Edison was the greater of the inventors, yes. if you like. Yes. He uh, was able to use his uh, the, the financial the, the money which he gained from his inventions to further his direct current um, wishes. 
Westinghouse, on the other hand, had to have support, financial support. Really? I yeah. thought it was the other way around, you see. Well, I was just wondering yeah, whether of course, the force of money. It right, okay. A uh, multi millionaire, of course, Westinghouse yes. is a yes. direct result. And, yes. of course, a lot of his stuff is still around. Absolutely. And the name is still on appliances uh, oh, as yeah. we speak. Yeah, that's right. Indeed. So there it is. It's called the current war, was it? The current, yes. Uh, people think, well, is it current being like mm. today? Yeah. No. Current is electricity, the That's electricity right. war. The sure. electricity war and uh, the review there from Peter Edwards. Thank you so much for coming in, sir. Lovely welcome, to see sir. you. 106.3 BGFM.